What's up, guys? I uh, thought I'd give you guys uh, kind of a breakdown of what is going on before I do the 10 o'clock news. All right, let me look at a couple things real quick. Get pulled up. I hope you guys are having a great Thursday. It's almost, We're heading through the week. It's almost the weekend. Uh, summertime. Summertime is going to be here soon. We're going to be feeling uh, a lot of heat as we go into next week. But let me give you a tour of what's going on right now. And then I'll jump into the 10 o'clock news. Okay, flash flood watch in effect. Uh, not, not specifically because of extremely heavy rain tonight. It's already because we've had so much rain over the past six weeks. We have picked up um, about 16, 17 inches since the beginning of May, which is absolutely crazy. All right, so that's why we have the flash flood watch. Okay, we've been watching these little showers and thunderstorms kind of dropping through over the past couple hours. None of these are too strong. None of these are severe, but they're dropping a lot of lightning. Um, or you can see a lot of lightning. But the overall trend here is they're weakening as they push in, but still we're getting some uh, showers and thunderstorms. Um, I'm really just a little bit bored, and I kind of wanted to talk about what's going to happen in the morning. So this is nothing urgent by any means I'm really just kind of playing around but uh, you can see from Lawrence County Mount Vernon back into Jasper County Carthage up to Jasper north side of the city Carl Junction Orinoco Webb City and then uh, Pittsburgh uh, a little stronger once you get into Cherokee County so this is McCune over toward Weir Columbus Oswego Chautauqua Parsons and then back toward Cherryville and Independence so these guys will continue to drop off toward the south and to the east, kind of in that direction as we go through about the next hour or so and really just kind of fall apart. And then uh, and then we look pretty good for several hours and then we got to figure out what in the world is going to happen out west. So let's let's see what's going on. We've got three areas we're watching. This cluster in Nebraska. Uh, this little guy in western Kansas this little cluster into the panhandles of Oklahoma and Texas. All right, so let's start south. All right, so this big cluster here is going to track across southern Oklahoma and then into eastern Oklahoma. So this will affect Oklahoma City all the way into Fort Smith, through Lawton, and then all the way down through eastern Oklahoma. What's interesting here is this cluster that is on top of us has kind of overworked the atmosphere a little bit so uh, it's very interesting to see what happens out across western Kansas because I think these will kind of come in late tonight and they will kind of die but I want to see if they can flare up a little bit oh five six seven o'clock kind of across southeastern Kansas that's a big question mark though so that, let's go up to the next batch. These guys, southeastern parts of Nebraska, northern Missouri, this is interesting. As these come in, you can see some severe thunderstorm warnings. I think what's going to happen here is these kind of work southeast and then take a turn. So they'll take a turn and try to get into our northern counties by the time we head into the morning hours. Really, the bottom line is I don't think we're going to get much of anything as we go into the overnight hours tonight, but we gotta wait and see what's gonna happen in the morning. Let me pop forward here. I'm gonna go ahead a few graphics. All right, here's, uh, I'm using the HER model. Um, it comes down every hour and it has been all over the place. It has no idea what is gonna happen. Um, so it just gives you kind of a little bit of an idea. All right, here's 7 a.m. Some of those storms trying to work into southwestern Missouri, kind of flaring up a little bit, but the ones that can flare up uh, it could be a little potent. Look at this guy coming in at about 9, 9.30 from Fort Scott toward Nevada, kind of sneaking through southwestern parts of Missouri, and then all these clusters of storms work out of here by the noon hour. So due to the evening storms, we may not get a drop on the Kansas or even the Oklahoma side tonight, uh, even through the morning hours. So the areas that have the best chance for storms is going to be southwestern Missouri. Not really too worried about severe weather, but something I'm going to keep my eyes on. Uh, and then I'm going to watch as we go through the overnight hours. Uh, danger Noodle Authority. 
Delaware County, man. I, I don't see much risk right now, but uh, we got to see what develops over the next two hours to see if something can pop up. All right, let's lo let's look down the road here just a second. Oh, whoop, let's go back. Because here's where summertime, everybody wants summertime. We've had so much freaking rain, it's crazy. All right, let me load this graphic. Look at the upper 80s, lower 90s kick in as we head into the weekend. Then we stay into the 90s, humidity is going to be high, so this means heat indices are at around 100 degrees as we go through next week, and we do start to dry out. So that is good news. We're going to start to dry things out. All right, guys, I'm going to watch these storms tonight, see kind of what happens. If I need to, I'll jump on in the morning. We'll do a little bit of streaming, but hope you're having a good Thursday night. i got to get ready for the 10 o'clock news, but thought I'd jump on real quick and kind of let you guys know that uh, the overall story here is we got to see what develops over the next two hours and how much these storms over the past couple hours have kind of overworked the atmosphere. But most of tonight's going to be quiet. It's tomorrow morning that we're going to watch.